Super Duper Kyle was involved in a comic book collab with Axe and Marvel. People in the comments section are saying, Wow, big ups brother, or hey, we're making fucking good moves out here. Is the product good though? Also, if you don't know who Super Duper Kyle is, and that sounds like a family friendly name, yes I know. Well, he made a collab with Lil Yachty called I Spy. I would play the music, but I could be copyright striked. So just go look that up, and then you'll probably know who he is. Super Duper Kyle, or Kyle for short from here on out, was only involved in this comic. He didn't really make it. All he really did was he just signed his name on the product, the little comic books, and then gave them out. And he also promoted it online. And Kyle is in the comic for a little bit. So mostly it's people at X and the Disney Marvel side collaborating together to sell the product. So this little web series or comic dub thing is in five episodes. Okay, I'll give it a chance. How long is it? They're both three to two minutes each. Well, that's kind of short and it's not animation, but it's a comic dub, so hey, maybe there's more stuff that I'm not seeing. Let's go watch the first one. Oh, well, I can't really watch you because copyright bullshit, but I'll tell you because it's easier. I'll show you some clips, don't worry. So, it starts off in Chicago. They're in a school, probably a college school, because these freshmen don't look like high school freshmen. So the first episode is three minutes long. The first minute is narration, basically. It's a little intro that tells you that we're in Chicago. These are the characters' names, their superhero name, and then their power. And then the second minute out of these three minutes is just Kid Vanish talking in double time, saying he's bored in class while fucking the Black Panther is talking to the classroom with the teacher and everyone else. And Kid Vanish is just fucking bored. And then Windchill says the only reason why you're here is because of Wakandan connections, and then the class is dismissed and everyone fucking leaves to go to the dance. I know that sounds short, but that's how short that really is. And then the last minute of the comic. We have Burner, he has a crush on Windchill. He wants to ask her out. And then we hear the worst fucking lines ever. Like, hey Alyssa, I've got style you've never seen. My moves are so smooth, I'm a future meme. Tr trust me, that will be the first and last time I will play that clip for you. So don't worry, you don't need to shoot yourself just yet. So Burner really likes Windchill, we just established that. And then Kid Vanish says, you know what, I'll give you some rap moves, some rhymes for you to ask her out that way. And then they talk to some guy who's just being rude. And then out of nowhere someone says, hey guys, everyone around here seems a bit off. And that's the end of episode one. Now episode two. I know that seems blunt, but trust me, that's actually how it is. Episode two happens. It's three minutes long as well. And what happens within those three minutes? It's not really that good either. The two minutes out of the three are more or less talking and not really showing. Hey, these two are a couple. They used to be madly in love and you're just, you know, probably doing some PDA shit right now. Well, they're not. That guy is fucking hype as fuck. He seems brain dead. What's happening, guys? I don't know. Well, let's try and find out what the hell is happening. We'll try and solve a problem here. Kid Vanish, you find out what's going on. Who's behind all this? That's pretty much the two out of three minutes of episode two. Now, Kid Vanish, he is invisible. He walks past Super Duper Kyle with the most rapey face known to man and almost gets his cover blown somehow because he's invisible, but he smells fucking good because of Axe body spray. My cover X body spray. Out of nowhere, Kid Vanish walks out of the fucking area, finds a little cord, tugs at it, falls through the ground, and finds Claw, aka the Crimson Crotch. <laughs> and that's really episode two. And for some reason, they decide to spoil the ending of episode three. And you're gonna hear this quite a lot. I'll play it for you for the first time. All right, guys. Looks like it's time to fight. Yeah, that very ending part, you're gonna hear that three times out of the five episodes. Episode 3, we're halfway there and nothing really has happened and the action is very, very disappointing if there even is any action. The two out of three minutes for this one is the rest of the crew saying let's try and solve this. Uh, Double Time can get some equipment for me while Overdrive is trying to, I don't know, fucking mess around with the speaker to stop the mind control shit that's happening to the zombified people. And then the only probably important thing out of those two minutes besides talking and getting equipment is that Double Time talks to the teacher and then, oh, we get to overhear that the teacher is talking to Black Panther and Black Panther says, you know what? I know some people, they're almost an hour away, they'll help you guys. That's pretty much a very big reveal that some major characters will be coming into the comic later on. And then the last minute is Kid Vanish, along with Crimson Crotch over here, fighting. They don't actually fight. <laughs> K 
Kid Vanish hides from Crimson Crotch. Crimson Crotch is pissed. He shoots at a pillar, guesses right, and Kid Vanish flies in the sky. And then you hear this again. Looks like it's time to fight. Just for some clarification, episode three and four are two minutes and we're on episode four now. So what really happens? Well, for episode four, there's some action, if you can even call that. All right, guys, looks like it's time to fight. Well, the freshmen are surrounded by their zombified students and maybe even friends. And then Claw, Crimson Crotch shows up. Bernard tries to light Crimson Crotch on fire and it's practically useless. Cool, man. Congratulations on being old. Double time, punches him two times, and gets fucking tossed away with his little fucking radio hand. And Windshell, she just makes all of her fucking students and friends frozen. Then Overdrive says, you know what, I have an idea. Double time, get in front of the speaker, because this guy is pissed off for some fucking reason. He's too heated, and he'll just be blind with rage. So when he shoots at you, dodge it and have that blast from the sound waves or whatever break the speaker. And they pull that off successfully. And that's really all the action that happens, and that's the two minutes of the whole entire episode four. Sorry if my speech sounds fucked up, I'm sleep deprived and I have to deal with watching this bullshit. So who are the big fucking Marvel comic heroes that are going to appear in this comic? And we're almost towards the last episode. Well, you got Black Panther, Captain Marvel, Iron Man, and Thor. And who knows how long episode five will be, maybe three minutes long, maybe even four. Probably two. Episode 5 hasn't come out and it's still going to be shit. Do you know why? Because Kyle promoted it and he showed a little bit of episode 5. What happens in this leaked episode 5 thing, because this is a comic version, but it's still going to be applied like that one. <laughs> Thor throws his hammer at Crimson Crotch. He probably gets knocked out. They're only on the page. They're only on one page out of all of them. Burner asks out Windchill. He probably gets a yes. And then everyone lives happily fucking after. The end. When it comes to this whole entire shitty web series, they decide to cut it up in pieces, probably so they don't get bad publicity with their first episode that they got. But also, it's in completion. It's already complete, but they're just deciding to wait a little while and then release it again. Why do I say that? Well, because A, the comic was made in July with all the pages already fucking made. And that's what Kyle did to fucking promote and sign his name on it to release the fans. And then there was a trailer for this five episode piece of shit. The trailer even shows the ending of The Freshman. You have Super Duper Kyle on stage and Kid Vanish is on stage rapping for some reason, but who knows why, but he's there singing. And probably Windchill and Burner are together now and they're dancing with Double Time and Overdrive along with all the students that they somehow froze and unfroze. Yes, that was a whole entire freshman story that you just heard. It was shit, I know. But seriously, do you want to go and watch it? If you want to watch it, make sure to dislike that shit because it is, is very fucking terrible. Who is this made for? Episode 1 through like 3 are very bland and boring as hell, so clearly kids can't fucking watch this. It's probably not action or edgy focused for maybe teens or preteens. Like, this is some kind of kid or teenager that can't look at violence or shootings and shit and they have to watch this or read it. That's what the crowd is for, I guess. Thanks for watching this with me. I'm going to make more content coming very soon. My next project is almost in the works. And it's almost done, basically. I'm finishing it up, so I'll get it by October or the second week of October. Keep improving your health or making content if you are. And I'll see you around. my way